Shocking news. China buys XRP XRP to $20,000. Nowadays, many are arguing which of the cryptocurrencies has a greater potential for growth. Increasingly, there are thoughts that the supporters of XRP will emerge victorious from this struggle. Welcome to the Finance Up channel. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. What do you think the maximum price for XRP will be in 2022? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP, watch the video to the end, to like and subscribe. Ripple shared details of its plan to enter one of the largest markets in the world. The representative of the blockchain startup told about this in a conversation with Coindesk. It all started with the appearance last Thursday of a message on the XRP chat site, a forum where users share rumors and comments concerning both the company itself and its developments. Ripple confirmed that it is indeed preparing to start working in China, but its activities will not be associated with local giants working in the field of e-commerce. Emi Yoshikawa, director of the Ripple joint venture, said, China is a key market for the global payment network, which is why we want to be present in this region. The total volume of cross-border payments in which China participates is estimated at $5 trillion per year, and China's large e-commerce market lacks highly efficient and low-cost solutions. Ripple has recently added 10 new financial organizations to its blockchain network, including MUFG from Japan, BBVA from Spain and SEB from Sweden however, Chinese companies have not been on this list so far. It seems that Ripple will have to make a lot of efforts in order to conclude agreements with major players from China. Ripple has not confirmed the information that Alibaba has launched a validation node in its network. The user of XRP chat posted a screenshot showing the location of the node in China, linked to the address of Alibaba Advertising Company. Limited forum participants suggested that the commercial giant intends to help Ripple settle in the country, however, a representative of the startup said, Alibaba does not contain a validation node. Last week, there were rumors that Alibaba contains a Ripple validator node. Ripple claims that this is not the case, but confirms that it is indeed preparing to enter the Chinese market. This is not surprising. Of course, Ripple wants to enter China, just like any other fintech company in the world that is aware of the scale and prospects of this step. And if Alibaba, or rather one of the divisions, does contain a node, then it would be wiser to deny this fact so as not to prematurely cause an increase in the token rate, which in turn may affect the terms of the transaction. In addition, if Alibaba does not contain a node, this does not mean that the companies are not discussing the possibility of cooperation. Indeed, the creation of such a partnership looks reasonable, and not only for these two companies. For Ripple, a San Francisco-based company that has raised almost $100 million to create an interbank transfer system, the opportunity is more than attractive. China's global trade volumes are growing, and with them the problems associated with cross-border payments, including capital controls, rapidly changing laws and relatively high fees. In addition, the growth of China's cross-border e-commerce, which already accounts for almost 20% of the country's foreign economic activity, requires fast and cheap cash flows. However, the formation of cooperation with any major bank in China seems to be a short-sighted decision, given the participation of the state and the barrier for foreigners to enter the system. Creating a connection with one of the internet giants interested in new technologies and having an extensive user base is a much more effective step to enter the market. However, large internet companies have their own payment channels and can cooperate with banks. Ripple primarily develops interbank solutions, not client solutions. Nevertheless, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse recently stated that he expects his company to start providing services in the individual consumer market within five years. Given Alibaba's large-scale structure and global ambitions, a variety of applications can be found within the company for blockchain technology. Such work is already underway. However, of all the companies working in this field, Ripple can choose and financial, which offers the most obvious short-term benefit. Recently, CEO and Financial gave an interview to CNBC, 
in which he confirmed that the company is considering the possibility of using blockchain to form the basis of Alipay, which has captured China's mobile payments market, estimated at $5.5 trillion. Another opportunity to create a joint project is Alibaba's global e-commerce platform, the creation of which was announced last year. The company is going to use it to establish bilateral ties between China and independent trading partners. The platform will be used for the delivery of goods, the discussion of tariffs, and, please note, the implementation of cross-border electronic payments. There may be other participants who want to take advantage of the Ripple system. For example, the actions of Chinese regulators indicate that they want to raise the transparency of operations to a new level as soon as possible. Last week, the People's Bank of China by order introduced control over all third-party mobile payments, which should begin to pass through the central platform by June next year, which will allow the regulator to receive information about payments and monitor illegal transactions. It is unlikely that something will change in the near future. There are also opportunities for the use of blockchain. Ripple's solution will allow transactions to be carried out without the need for centralized clearing, while at the same time allowing regulators to monitor cash flows. Taking into account all the above advantages, it can be assumed that the participants of the system are at least discussing the possibilities of cooperation. Another question is whether they will be able to overcome cultural, economic and technological barriers. If they can, then this step will be of great importance for the development of blockchain, cross-border payments and relationships on a global scale. Bitcoin ignored the statements of Goldman Sachs CEO David Solomon that the cryptocurrency market is waiting for a big evolution in the ways it is regulated. In an interview with CNBC, the head of the bank confirmed that the company shows a fairly strong interest in cryptocurrency and is determined in this direction, well, additional approvals with the regulator are needed. Let me remind you that last week Goldman Sachs Group Incorporated announced that they were close to implementing their proposal to provide access for trading Bitcoin and other digital assets. So far, we are talking about clients from the private sector with fairly large accounts. By the way, other financial corporations also plan to provide rich clients with access to cryptocurrency trading. According to Solomon, serious regulatory requirements from regulatory authorities currently prevent Goldman Sachs from making transactions with cryptocurrencies. In recent years, there have been endless conversations around Bitcoin regulation, but it has not yet come to concrete actions. Back in January of this year, the president of the European Central Bank, Christine Lagarde, called for regulation of the world's largest cryptocurrency, but that was the end of it. The live XRP price today is 60 cents USD, with a 24-hour trading volume of 1,218,000,000 US dollars. We update our XRP to USD price in real time. XRP is down 3.46% in the last 24 hours. Do you think XRP will be able to rise to $1? Write your answers in the comments. That's it for today, thanks for watching this video to the end. If you liked it, then don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss the release of new videos.